Breaking news here on the now in the sports world. Yeah, tennis star Roger Federer is sitting out for the rest of this year. He says he needs more time to recover from his knee surgery. Now, this means Federer will not only be sitting out of the Olympic Games, he'll also miss the Tri States Western and Southern Open next month. Federer had surgery on his left knee in February, the first time in his career. This year's Western and Southern Open is scheduled for August 13th through the 21st at the Linder Family Tennis Center near Kings Island. The Summer Olympics in Rio are less than two weeks away, and the bay set for, to be used for the sailing and the open water swimming is still overrun by sewage right now. And this is pretty nasty. That stench is reportedly so bad it's causing some visitors to vomit and even faint. Rio's organizers say they're on top of it, though, and they plan to treat the water with a special bacteria before the Olympics to clean this up. But the people who live in Rio say that was done when the International Olympic Committee first visited Rio seven years ago, and the water was back to being filled with sewage in just two weeks. Mission accomplished. Look at this. The solar impulse plane we've been watching has landed in Abu Dhabi and completed its mission to be the first solar plane to fly around the world. The journey was expected to take five months. Instead, it turned out to be 17. The mission was to show that renewable energy could be a viable way to power aviation in the future. And that General Mills flower recall we've been talking about, it's not over yet. Nope, the company's expanding it once again after people got E. coli traced back to the flower. These new illnesses, and there are four, were reported in Minnesota and Wisconsin. So the company's now recalling more varieties of gold medal Wondra and Signature Kitchens flowers, with certain best buy dates through February 10th. General Mills recalled 10 million pounds of flour in June. It then issued an expansion earlier this month, which included some Betty Crocker cake mixes. A California bar is helping science by turning over something, well, it has plenty of it. And it's not beer. Mm -mm. We are talking about urine. Yeah. Researchers at the University of California think urine can be turned into fertilizer. So the idea here is to help third world countries that have scarcity of farming resources. So they need urine for this project. And the Sudworks Brewery has plenty of it. The really unique requests that we just happen to be well positioned to help them with. Here at the brewery, we happen to brew a lot of beer and consequently we produce a lot of urine. So it is only natural for us to help them out um, since we're not doing anything with that urine anyways. So drinkers can use a special outdoor urinal that collects the liquid waste. They're trying to collect more than 260 gallons of urine mm. every week. Good luck. He spent $100,000 on plastic surgery to look like Justin Bieber. Well, now, nearly a year after his death, officials have ruled it an accidental overdose. Tobias Strebel died last August, and it's taken until now to finish that autopsy. The coroner says he had multiple drugs and alcohol in his system at the time. Strebel went by the name Toby Sheldon. Not only was he known for his surgeries, he was also on the E! Network show Botched. It's really sad. People Magazine reporting that another Duggar child is engaged. There she is. Ginger Duggar is set to marry a former professional soccer player. The engagement announcement comes one month after the family announced the couple was courting. The courtship will be part of the family's reality series, which, by the way, has returned to TLC. It's back. If you love to travel but you're short on cash, a new business plan might just help you get out of town. The Now's Jacqueline Ingalls explains a new startup is allowing folks to buy their plane tickets on layaway. About like 300. It was like 300. Flying isn't always possible when you're low on cash. Some of them are really skyrocket high. Dancer Mila Morningstar and her singer friend Vampy say they've missed out on shows in Arizona and California because plane tickets were just too expensive. It's upsetting to miss uh, like a once in a lifetime event. A new Chicago startup called Air Affordable is letting travelers buy tickets on layaway. And while some airlines already offer this option, one difference. This startup does not do credit checks. It sounds like a good idea. The process is pretty simple. You can even use your phone. Go to any online travel site, find your ideal flight, take a screenshot, and then upload it to Air Affordable. From there, the site calculates the deposit amount, about a third of the total cost. They do tack on a service fee, though, between 10 and 20 percent of the price of the ticket. The fee is determined by demand, travel date, and the period of time between when you book and when you travel. It's understandable. They're helping you out. Air Affordable then gives you a total cost and payment plan. If you agree to the terms, they buy your ticket, and you pay it off in weekly or monthly payments, all while locking in your ticket price. Once it's paid off, 
they email you the ticket. With the layaway thing, I definitely see that working out very well. Travelers can now book tickets at any cost, and you can buy tickets anywhere from 1 to 11 months in advance. And that was Jacqueline Ingalls reporting. There are other airline ticket layaway programs out there, too. Yeah, we even have some websites that you can research and buy from right here in the tri state. I know, I think I'm saving in advance to avoid that 10, 20% fee. It's a lot of money. Yeah. All right, a warning now about hauling cars and using ride sharing services. Some drivers across the country are pretending to be your driver. This is happening in Denver, where limo drivers are illegally picking up street fares. Some of them pose as Uber drivers, but you're going to know they're phonies when they make you pay in cash. Our sister station in Denver went undercover to find the illegal activity, and one limo driver openly told them that breaking the law is the only way to make money. We have business before X and left. Uh -huh. No, we don't have business. All the people is go to the app. Ah, got you. So it's really hurt That's your business. That's why we're hustling like this. I'm trying to figure out if they're talking about limos or SUVs here because that's an SUV. Now, remember, you can ask for a driver's identification to make sure it's a taxi or a ride-sharing driver. And if you are using Uber or Lyft, double-check your app to make sure it is, in fact, your driver. Here with Stephen, the Weather Center, and Sherry's here too because we've got some stuff happening. Yeah, it's been busy this afternoon. What happened is, is we've got this system, as I'll show you in a minute, just sitting there and the rain just dumping in certain areas because most folks have just had some pretty beneficial rain, as I mentioned at the top of the show. Outside right now, you'll notice our nine first warning Doppler and the folks who have really seen that heavier rain to the east of greater Cincinnati, out by Hillsboro, West Union, out by Georgetown, over by Falmouth in uh, northern Kentucky. As we take a closer look at it, take a look at the rain. That they've had. Uh, how about it started in Florence, inch and a half, Alexandria, stretch over by Batavia, Bethel, Moscow, Georgetown, Brooksville, Maysville, West Union. Peebles got a little lucky, but these areas that we showed at the top of the show from Claremont over to Brown County, really from about Bethel over to Georgetown, some of the roads have had some issues with water rushing over the top of them. So just be careful if you're out around there uh, for the afternoon. Outside now, 79 degrees. We've got some clouds and sun now trying to peek through. The story is the stationary front that has been a trigger for the showers and storms as a little disturbance just cut right across the area. You can see the little twist in the atmosphere here. Watch right there. See it just kind of working across. We're going to break back into some clearing later tonight, so we'll go partly cloudy skies. And I think just an evening chance here over the next couple of hours. Temperature of 70 degrees. Then coming up tomorrow, more hot and humid. We do have a slight chance to see some storms for tomorrow. Right now, the weekend's looking okay. I still have a chance for showers and storms. It's uh, running as high as 50% by Sunday. We'll watch it and let you know if it changes. Guys. All right, Steve, thanks. You remember the ice bucket challenge? Well, it turns out it did lead to a medical breakthrough. We're going to talk about the discovery next.